Welcome to Regaining Control with myself and Dr. Carter. So far, we've talked about identifying negative thoughts in our lives and then what to do with those thoughts. However, part of the work of ensuring that you're mentally healthy is learning to create new pathways in your mind. We have to learn the art of both self-awareness and self-regulation when it comes to the way that we think about our lives and the situations that we find ourselves in. Today, Dr. Carter will help us understand how to be more intentional about creating those pathways and how we can turn that negativity into fuel that's going to move us forward. Here's my interview with Dr. Carter. Well, Dr. Carter, thank you again for being with us today. We've talked a lot already over the last couple of days, and we're wrapping up uh, this series together uh, with this last talk. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about today is knowing that part of the work of ensuring that you're mentally healthy is learning to create new pathways in your mind. And so how would you practically apply being better at self-awareness and self-regulation when it comes to our mind and our thoughts? And how can we be more intentional about building better pathways? Right. So really key to that is, is practicing it regularly. You know, any good self-awareness um, strategies have to be practiced regularly in order for them to be effective because it's just not natural to us. We don't really take the time to self-reflect. Um, and so having a good routine um, and really a self-care routine in general is going to be helpful in um, regularly engaging your mind in um, self-awareness practices. So when you talk about self-care routine, you're, you really want to think about the mind, the body, and the spirit. You know, how can I incorporate all three of those into my self-care? Um, so this is where, you know, for self-reflection, we're going to pull out the journal. You know, this is a good, that's a good mental exercise to do. Um, if you're creative, you could also draw. That's a great way of processing your thoughts and feelings in a more creative way. Um, writing a poem or writing lyrics to a song, you know, those are also great ways to get your emotions out um, and, and really kind of process what you're feeling. Sure. Um, asking for feedback as well is going to raise your self-awareness. Asking others to let you know, you know, how did I come across in that meeting? Or is what I said, is that pretty clear? Or, you know, receiving that type of feedback is so invaluable to raising our awareness um, and, and really learning how we come across to one another. Because um, we really don't know. You know, we intend one thing, but it comes across as something totally different. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask for feedback from people, you know, that you trust. Um Self-regulation is a little bit different from self-awareness. So if self-awareness says, you know, what's going on with me, self-regulation says, what do I do about it? And so part of your self-care routine should be some good coping skills just to help you regulate your emotions on a regular basis. Um, so whereas journaling might be a good technique for raising self-awareness, reading might be a good technique just for regulation of emotions it's a nice way to calm the mind down and just engage in something that's that's um not too stressful um listening to music is a great way as well um instead of writing it coloring um anything that kind of calms the mind and gets you in a relaxed state is is going to be really helpful for um um emotional regulation Mm -hmm. Also, eating healthy and exercising regularly, those are great emotional regulation strategies because they produce happy hormones like dopamine and serotonin um, in our brains that can help offset negativity. Um, they also help with digestive health, and there's actually more and more research that's coming out recently that says that our digestive health is very much connected to our mental health. So. Um, taking good care of your body, you know, definitely has a, a long-term effect on, on your, your overall mental health as well. Um, and then just engaging with others, you know, making sure you're connecting with, with people that, you know, having fun with people, laughing, learning new activities or games. Um, those are all great ways of, of really keeping the mind healthy and keeping your emotions regulated. That's so good. That's really great. And I feel like I'm listening to that going, I probably should have less Chick-fil-A then. That's, that's good enough. That's good enough. A lot of that. Um, okay, so let, let me ask you this. I mean, so we've talked the last three days. We've talked a lot about, you know, in some ways becoming more aware of your emotions, thinking about your thoughts. But I think if I was going to kick it to you like one last time, kind of like the parting thoughts or final thoughts that you would say to everybody watching or listening, 
I'd be curious, like, what would you say to the person who goes, you know, this is new to me. Like, I'm just starting out, you know, I've kind of just let emotions come and go. I've let thoughts come and go. How would you encourage them? Say, like, what would you be your parting thoughts, thoughts to those people to say, hey, as you get going in this, make sure you, what would you say to them? Give yourself grace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're learning something new. So making, make sure that you are, you know, being patient with yourself. Um, that you're giving yourself time to learn yourself, that you're mm-hmm. giving yourself the opportunity to um, better understand um, and make mistakes, but then learn from those mistakes. You know, we've been living our life for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. You know, you've been thinking a particular way for decades. It's not going to change overnight, you know. So give yourself some time and give yourself some grace to kind of really understand yourself and then learn the proper ways of changing those thoughts and behaviors. That's great. Dr. Carter, again, thank you so much. We always love having you. So grateful that you're part of this. Thank you.